President Professor Peter Mtalika has been asked to host this meeting due to Malawi's outstanding performance in the fight against HIV AIDS, especially in the area of reduction of mother to child transmissions. President Talika says Malawi pioneered a unique HIV intervention to achieve the much talked about 67% reduction in mother to child HIV infections. Malawi pioneered option B2, B plus program from 2011, under which lifelong LRT are given to all HIV positive pregnant women, regardless of their CD4 count. As a result, Mother-to-child transmission of HIV has declined by 67%, making this the highest decline globally. <laughs> However, President Mutalika informed the delegates that scaling up HIV testing, treatment, and related services will require Malawi to greatly expand its health infrastructure and human resources. Turning to the global picture in efforts to stop HIV AIDS by 2030, President Mutalika says concerns by least developed countries, LDCs, on the cost of medicines should be addressed. I will to reiterate the issue which was raised by Bangladesh at the February WTO TRIPS Council on behalf of the LDC group for the WTO TRIPS Council to unconditionally grant LDCs exemption from applying protections for pharmaceutical-related patients and clinical data indefinitely. <laughs> this issue, plus the sustainable financing for the HIV response, is going to be critical for meeting the 1990-90 targets by 2020 and also ending the AIDS epidemic by 2030. This high-level event on ending AIDS epidemic by 2030 has been organized by the UN AIDS. Meanwhile, here in New York, this year's United Nations General Assembly general debate started on Monday, the 28th September 2015, and President Talika is scheduled to address the meeting on Tuesday. Mgeme Kalidani, NBC News, New York.